All right, we are joined now by a third round selection of the Minnesota Wild. He is Kamloops Blazers forward, Caden Bankier. Caden, let's start with draft weekend, third round Minnesota Wild. You're probably watching on the TV like everyone was with friends and family, but tell me a little bit about the weekend and, and what the reaction was like when you found out you were drafted to the Wild. Yeah, obviously it was a pretty special weekend spent with, you know, some family and some close friends and um, obviously watching, watching the draft pretty closely. Um, you know, obviously when, when I saw my name, name get called, I was pretty, pretty, pretty pumped up and just be there with my mom and my dad and my brother mainly um, was pretty special all that they had sacrificed for me over the years and um, all that they had done to get, help me get to that point. Um, and for them to be, you know, right there with me, um, it just meant a lot. Let's talk about Minnesota. You were one of four WHL players drafted to the Wild this year. Uh, were they one of the teams that maybe you kind of had an inkling that they were more interested in you than other teams might have been? What's your take on on what your future holds now uh, with Minnesota? Yeah, obviously going into the draft, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, you know, I had talked to um, quite a few teams before, but no one really, you know, kind of showed their cards of what, what everything was going to play out like. But um, I, when I had talked to Minnesota, I felt like it went pretty well. Um, I felt like I connected pretty well with um, some of their scouts on the call with me. And um, obviously they were one of, they were actually one of the last teams I had t talked to. So oddly enough, you know, to end up there, it was kind of, kind of weird in a sense, but um, it's so awesome that they took the chance on me and um, I'm looking forward to getting there and showing them uh, why they made a great selection. You're not even the only Blazer who was drafted by Minnesota this year. Of course, your teammate, Josh Piller, went in the fourth round. You guys have a bit of a special relationship with the, the Kamloops Blazers. Tell me a little bit about that and maybe how pumped you are to have a teammate with you with the Wild. Yeah, so me and him, we've lived together for the last two years also. So, um, yeah, we have a pretty good connection. And um, when I saw his name go uh, the round after, that was that was pretty cool. I think I FaceTimed him right away, and um, <laughs> we were both just screaming at each other on the on the FaceTime. So that was pretty special. And um, yeah, when when we go back to Kamloops, well, our chemistry will probably be even closer now that uh, that we're going to be sharing a, an experience and like going to a NHL development camp together, and um, it'll be good to see a familiar face there. That way I don't have to experience it all by myself. So um, pretty fortunate in that aspect, I guess. Let's talk about last season with the Blazers. You finished third in team scoring. You finished tied for the team leading goals. Uh, four games with three or more points as well for yourself. What clicked for you? Uh, I mean, not that your 16-year-old season was anything to sneeze at, but it just seemed like you found another level uh, with the Blazers in that shortened season in the hub. Yeah, I mean, going in from my 16-year-old year to my 17-year-old year, we had a we had a lot of guys leave the team and you know go play pro or go play. Uh, university hockey and um there's a lot of holes in our lineup and for myself I just kind of felt like I needed to step up into those roles and those, and those guys absences um for me throughout the year I think it was just getting more comfortable with each guy I was playing with and feeling more confident with the puck and um feeling more confident on the ice and um I think it the points just kind of kind of happened um I wouldn't say there was one particular thing that stood out for me that I there's a reason why I got those points. Uh, I think it was just collectively the team was working really well and um, I was working really well with my line mates and it just kind of came along with it. And you look ahead to the fall when the Blazers get back up and running. I mean, this is a team that's got a bevy of talent. When you look at the fact that you've got Grand and Goal, and, you know, yourself and Stanko and the Pillar up front and then draft eligibles in Minton and Levis as well. Uh, how excited are you to get back going with these guys to see what you can do over the course of a full season? Yeah, I mean, we should have another pretty good team this coming up year. Um, I mean, these last two years, I feel like um, we had some really good teams that could have made some long playoff runs and um, eventually, hopefully, try and play for a Memorial Cup. But um, I think our guys all have a collective goal in mind, and um, we got a lot of talent and a lot of skill. and. 
Um, I think it's going to show when we all hit the ice again in uh, September, and we're going to show that uh, we're a force to be reckoned with. My last one for you, Caden. You mentioned it earlier, an NHL development camp is on the horizon for you, but as we look forward over the next you know, four to six weeks when camp season really starts to ramp up, what's next in terms of your preparation and getting ready for the new season? Yeah, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> kind of prepare the same way, just kind of have uh, same goals in mind of what I want to kind of accomplish leading up to it and how I kind of want to, um, I guess, see myself going into the camp, you know, obviously the first one don't know really what uh, what to expect but um i'm just going to try and make the most of it honestly just try and uh enjoy it as much as i can i mean i'm very fortunate to be going to it and i'm a super i'm super lucky to be able to so um i mean there's tons of kids around the world that would love to be able to go to a nhl camp so uh i'm just going to try and enjoy it and um have as much fun as and learn as much as i can while i go there